All right, sorry about the noise in the background, but the air conditioner's on. It's been over 100 degrees here in Silicon Valley. It was 107 one day here in Santa Clara, so. But I wanted to get this on camera because I have the NPN working, and uh, it's working single-sided, and the uh, horizontal, oh, see it's flaking out on me. The horizontal, uh, there it goes. Horizontal amplitude is working somewhat. It's the vertical that's funny. It, this doesn't do anything at all. Um, so I don't know what to say about that, but I can get a spot down here and put it nice at zero and and then trace a, trace a diode here and go to another diode over here, have two different ones, and now it's gonna flake out of me again. So. I don't know exactly what's going on. I don't know if uh, I have a bad contact or I have a, a bad power supply filter or something like that. I haven't really checked the whole power supply out yet. Um, it's possible that I have a capacitor that's going funny that sort of would explain behavior like this, but I'm not, not entirely sure yet. Um, but I am encouraged that uh, the uh, NPN, PNP, I can put it upside down, and uh, here it is, upside down. Uh, bring this back in here, and then we can, yeah, I, I don't know. Anyway. It does seem to be acting like a curve tracer, although a very, very flaky one. Um, and I still can't quite figure out why the vertical doesn't work. Uh, I'm starting to, starting to work on that today, measuring some of the uh, resistors and stuff. It's, it's, quite, a, uh, it's quite a fancy, um, oops, it's quite a fancy unit. Uh, I'll show some pictures here. There's a whole bunch of wafer contact, or it's a rotary contact that pushes down on some con con gold contacts onto the board. I think that's all working. Um, there's a whole bunch of um, high precision catic uh, ceramic resistors that are in, in there to do uh, fancy stuff. Um, and yeah. So I've kind of taken that apart, taken a look at it, put it all back together. There was kind of a wire that was pretty dodgy and I soldered that back on more solid. Um, oh, I know what I can talk about. Um, I, did, I did fix this knob here. Um, I'll show some pictures of that. Um, this had been pushed all the way in. The, the plastic bezel on the outside had broken off. So what I did was I took that apart and I basically epoxied it in from the back side um, and uh, fixed that all up so uh, at least it's uh, it's not falling inside the instrument any longer um, and what else what else has been going on yeah that's about it just a quick update on uh, it is functioning a little bit better <laughs> a little bit better um, I'm kind of thinking that I'm kind of at a point where maybe I should just dis disassemble the whole thing, recap, recap the whole thing, take some of the switches out and try to refurbish them. These switches down here don't work very well. These guys are a bit flunky, funky too. I mean, you can see that I zeroed it and I got a, a zero trace and then it didn't quite come back. So yeah, I, I don't know if that's a switch issue or it's just it loses its signal and then it doesn't know where to go from there. I, I don't know. See, this is funny. And if I twiddle this knob, it sort of can fix it. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's where I am.